Hello there, my name is Jennifer Valley and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we will be going over the process of separating a vector package to use an individual asset in a project. The vector package I used is found on freepix.com and is linked below. I'm using Adobe Fireworks to do my image editing as it's the easiest way for me to access Adobe Illustrator files. However, this process can be applied and used in any software that has the basic functionality used. To begin, I'll select the file folder that contains the vector package from my desktop. Within the file folder, we'll see four files. The first is an Illustrator file. The second is an Adobe Photoshop file. The next is a list of the fonts used to create this graphic. I've already gone ahead and downloaded the fonts since they were free and to maintain the integrity of the design, but this step is completely optional. And the last file explains license and proper ways to attribute the creator. I'll select the Illustrator file to open in Fireworks. This opens the Vector File Options window where I can scale, size, pick the resolution, do a file conversion, and render the image. I typically keep the scale and size the same unless there are a lot of little parts to the image. I'll go ahead and select OK. From here I can begin to edit the image. I want the image in the bottom right corner. I always begin by removing the background. Sometimes this is as simple as unlocking and selecting the layer and then deleting it, like with this image but other times it may be necessary to use a magic wand and adjust the tolerance to remove a single color background. Even more complicated than that is the process of using the pen tool to select the object from background. To get the image in the bottom right isolated, I'll simply select the group, then select copy, open a new canvas and select OK. The nice thing about this software is that if you select copy first, it recognizes the size of the object so you don't have to go back and resize your canvas. I'll normally save my project just to make sure I don't lose any progress, and then I can make any edits I want, such as changing text or recoloring the object. I like the color the way that it is, so I'll leave that, but change the text to what I want, and save my project one final time. That's it! Again, my name is Jennifer Valley and thank you for watching this tutorial. If you'd like to keep in touch, please stop over to my blog or find me on social media. The links are listed below.